Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at the latest um, version of the Boxy software um, which I am running on my G-Link BoxyBox. Um, I made a video a while ago comparing the BoxyBox to the second generation Apple TV. Um, however, I didn't have the latest um, Boxy software or firmware on the BoxyBox. Um, so, so in this video I'm just going to take a look at um, the latest um, version of the software and you know, note any improvements and applications that I like, etc. So at the bottom here, we have um, a featured section where you have featured um, videos and applications. Um, I believe it is, um, you know, it's a lot simpler than um, the original Boxy software, which I quite like. And we have um, six main categories at the top here. Friends, Watch Later, Shows, Movies, Apps and Files. Um, I don't know anyone else that has a boxy box, so if you have friends that have one or perhaps just a boxy software and an account because you can install it on, you know, a Mac or a PC or a Linux box as well apparently. Um, so, you know, you can share videos etc with um, your friends. Um, though I don't know anyone running the software so I haven't tried doing that. Uh, there's a watch um, later section. So you can um, mark, you know, TV shows and movies that you want to watch later. There are the TV shows. Um, what it does is it finds all of, um, it finds um, legal TV shows online. So for example, um, for example, with Doctor Who, um, it might be on the ABC website in Australia. And if you click on Doctor Who, it will probably give you the option um, to watch it on the ABC website. So um, it only has a couple of episodes here, season 4, episodes um, 4 and 5. And if I click it, I have the option to watch it on um, ABC iView in Australia. And um, depending on what TV series um, you select, you might have a couple of um, different options on, you know, where you can watch it, etc. Though um, I cannot really play it for copyright reasons, though um, every video you choose to watch um, from a different source acts differently. In this case, um, from the AV from the ABC iView application, I have to select it from a list and then it will play. So I'm not going to do that for copyright reasons. And I'm just going to click um, the menu button to go back. So that's pretty much how the TV shows um, work. Um, and also with this um, top bar, if you click the menu button, you get this top bar where you can search, go home, you know, to your TV shows, movies, apps, files, etc. I will take a closer look at this in a minute. Uh, so that's TV shows. Um, it's pretty much the same with movies too. You know, they are, um, you know, sort of like free movies um, or royalty free movies. You can watch them without having to pay. Um, I don't believe in Australia that you have the option to, um, you know, rent movies. You might have the option if you download a certain application. I'm not sure. Though I know in America you are able to rent movies um, through your boxy box. And you can probably, you know, configure it you know, to do something similar in Australia too. Uh, let's look at apps. Um, so we have 189 apps here in total and also keep in mind that you can actually add your own um, repositories. So you can search for different repositories online and add them. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of apps that I really like. So I'm going to open the menu and see there are a couple of subcategories. We are currently on all, though there's also favourites, categories and repositories. Um, I am going to go to favourites and show you my favourite apps. Um, there is AccuWeather, which actually opens up at the top here. See, it's 22 degrees in Brisbane at the moment. And if I click that or click the app, the app opens. And it should um, come up with the forecast um, for today and a couple of days in advance. So, you know, that app um, is, you know, it's quite nice, um, it's um, very functional. Now, I'll just go back to my favourites. We have the Boxy Browser, so you are able to, um, you know, surf the internet on your Boxy Box, which is um, pretty nice, it's something you can't really do on the Apple TV. Um, and it was set to Bing by default. I haven't changed um, the home page yet. You can scroll up and down by using the arrow keys on the boxy box remote. And when the cursor goes down, you can scroll. Um, I have also currently got a mouse connected. 
so I can move around with the mouse and you can also connect keyboards so you can use the boxy box as a mini computer really and you know it's got the Intel chip so it's reasonably powerful for what it is um, so yeah you know that is pretty nice so scrolling with the mouse is a pain because they have this annoying bar at the side so with a keyboard or the boxy box remote it's good to scroll uh, so that's pretty much the browser application. I'm now going to exit that one. We have RSS um, feeds, and you can obviously add your own RSS um, feeds to this app. Plus, you can also um, search for new RSS feeds by using the Miro guide at the top here. It will come up with a bunch of different categories, and I can, um, you know, select um, the feeds that I want to be shown. There are a few different um, feed news items here. And I presume if I favorite it, it will um, add it to my RSS um, feeds page. And yep, there it is, um, my favorite feeds. And I can obviously go back to the Miro guide to select other ones, or I can um, add one manually or search for one. So that's the RSS um, feeds application. There's also TuneIn Radio. I'm a fan of TuneIn Radio. I use it on my um, iPhone quite a bit. So that's obviously for streaming online um, radio stations. So um, yeah, obviously can't play any streams for copyright reasons. So that works um, pretty well. We also have um, Ustream Lounge. Um, I have never used um, Ustream that much in the past. Um, though I know it's um, a very popular service. I'm used by a lot of people on YouTube. And I found it interesting and I like how it works. So, you know, you can view live or recorded shows. So, you know, you can just scroll up and down until you, um, you know, find um, something that you want to watch. You know, for example, I could select um, Chris Perillo Live. And I could just, um, you know, watch his live video stream on my TV whilst I'm doing my thing on the computer if I wanted to. And there are also a few different options here. Um, you know, it looks like you can share the feed on Twitter and Facebook, perhaps um, write a comment, um, you know, view information, etc. So, you know, um, the Ustream app is also pretty nice. And we have the YouTube app, of course. Type anything to start searching. So you can do this on the Boxy Box remote or, uh, you know, a keyboard plugged in via the USB port. So I'm just going to search for Boxy box a bit of um shameless um self promotion there so then i could for example scroll down to one of my videos i will show you how the player works if i scroll up it's probably going to be slow because it will be in full hd if i scroll up there are related um videos um there are more videos from the current um you know youtube user you're viewing and you can go back home um, there is also a pop-up advertisement at the um, bottom, which I believe goes away after a while. The YouTube app is a little buggy. I'm currently trying to get out of this um, sort of menu. Though because the video um, isn't currently loading, it won't let me do that. So, it is a very buggy application. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the applications. Um, I should also say... Um, with all of the most popular apps, it only um, installs the app if you actually launch it. So if I don't have Reddit TV currently installed, so if I click it, it will say launch. And in the top right hand corner, you can see it's currently downloading the latest um, application and um, installing it. And now it's going to launch it. So that's pretty much how um, the apps work. I'm not sure um, whether you can easily uninstall, uninstall them. I haven't really tried to be honest. Um, and let's go back to the home page for a second and last we have files. I haven't connected any, you know, network drives or anything. I'm not, you know, streaming, um, you know, music or movies or TV shows um, from my computer um, because um, all of my stuff is in iTunes and it's just easier to use my Apple TV for that. So, um, yeah, you know, if you have movies, you know, on a network share or something, then it would work, um, you know, very well with the boxy box. Um, I will also go and show you this mini menu again quickly. So we have home shows, movies, apps and files. We have a few different, you know, sub options um, below you can search. Uh, we have the weather, which I showed you before. It obviously says the current time. You know, you can, you know, turn off the device or view the settings. I will quickly show you the settings. 
we have general settings like um, you know location settings, um, display settings, you know menu, screen saver, language, sounds, advanced. Uh, we have media, so video, audio, subtitles, uh, music, photos, and advanced. You can also set up parental controls, you know, if you have children, you know, that um, use it and you don't want them looking at porn or whatever. Because there are actually a couple of um, porn boxy box apps. Um, so, yeah, you know, network settings, um, you know, you can pair devices, um, you know, you, you can set up, you know, file sources where um, it gets the media from. And all the system settings. So I believe this is the um, most up-to-date um, version of Boxy currently available. You know, 1.1.2.19250 dash, you know, you get the drift. And the build date was June 19th, 2011. And it has, you know, other information such as the MAC address and IP address. We have audio. Um, the option to update the Boxy box. Um, this wouldn't work for me. Um, it kept, um, you know, failing. So I had to update um, via USB. Um, we have services on um, the browser. Oh, yeah. So here you can clear the cookies, the cache, uh, clear the Adobe Flash shared objects. And we also have more advanced options. Um, and we also have an about um, at the bottom here, you know, with the credits, you know, XMBC Boxy is based upon the inspiring work of the following individuals and groups who made XMBC Media Centre possible. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can really show you, but the top it obviously says home with your username underneath it. Um, you know, it's definitely an improvement from the original um, version of the Boxy software which came with my Boxy box. Um, you know, it's still got a few different, you know, bugs, you know, here and there. It could be a little smoother. Though, you know, overall I'm quite liking it. Um, you know, if I'm thinking about, you know, using it as a bit of a secondary mini computer, you know, connecting a wireless keyboard and mouse. And, yeah, you know, um, just using it to watch videos um, whilst I'm, you know, surfing the net on my computer and all of that. Uh, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me. And thanks for watching.